Vault is a movie, a German-French production. The director is uh, Tarek Elal. We worked uh, on some stuff before and he asked me in May last year, 2016, if I want to participate uh, in this project and if I want to uh, make the soundtrack. We didn't have a lot of time because it premiered at the Munich Film Festival. It was just four or five weeks. So we really had to uh, talk about the ideas of the film, what we want to get across and so on. So the story is basically this, there's a, uh, it plays in Germany in a few years, a few years into the future. It's a dystopian science fiction. We don't have refugee camps anymore. There are refugee zones. It's getting really out of control. There's a special unit uh, from the police that goes into these zones and really, uh, you know, like beats people up or tries to bring order into these zones and have some sort of control. One cop kills a refugee and that's actually how the movie starts. Um, I think it's a really relevant topic because it shows sort of police state versus people who are kind of stateless, you know, who often have burned their passports and become almost people like who are in limbo, you know, they can't start a job, they're not accepted into society. So I think it's a really relevant film and I, I really wanted to uh, take part in it because I think we have to make statements like that now in our time and to, we need to um, uh, get people to think about this in a deeper way. And I think mu musicians and, and filmmakers and authors, we have to communicate that stuff with uh, culture basically. So the, the whole movie was done like scoring to picture. It was like me actually making the music to the film. It wasn't really like uh, finished music pieces that ended up somehow in the movie. I had to score the whole film. Um, the idea was um, to have music that kind of symbolizes the, uh, the police state, the very cold German, uh, you know, the, 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 the the arms, the technology that's supposed to you know, keep people in their place, very dark atmosphere. When you watch the film, you needed to feel kind of alienated. It's because people had to understand it's happening a few years into the future. It's not happening right now, but the world doesn't look that different from now, you know? So, but you had to have this feeling. And um, in the refugee zones, it, it, it's really almost the opposite. The rhythms are very like, there's like a, a polyrhythmic, a very uh, an industrial, a noisy, electronic sounds that, that really clash with this police state stuff. To create these two worlds that when they meet, uh, there's a lot of tension created. also need to show what's happening inside of people you know that was also a challenge with this film um, the cops usually don't show a lot of emotions so whenever you see the cops the music had to kind of tell that that story you know what are they actually feeling
So the, the last couple of months, um, we listened to the music without the film. And many people involved in the team were like, hey, this actually sounds like an Eric Empire album. Um, it's almost like an evolution from the records I did in the 90s on the Mille Plateau label. Um, you can listen to it without even having seen the movie. Um, so we decided, okay, we, we can actually release this as a soundtrack album, but it's not the, the typical soundtrack album. It, it's like an electronic album, like an electronic instrumental album. Um, I haven't released anything like that since, you know, almost 20 years. So um, now it's coming out. We're doing a vinyl, a double vinyl record, uh, got mastered. Um, works well. We were able to fit the whole music of the movie and even some extra stuff onto it and it's coming out in February 2017.